let's just sit down here for a minute with you. <coughs> Sorry, just had lunch, so we've got a great time to do our practice. Um, so we had an eclipse. Did you do our practice? Did you move your body? Did you follow the videos? Uh, they are, I think I put them public, yet they, they're not just on my Patreon, they're on this channel. You can still continue to do that. We are now going to go and take it up another notch, another level with our practice. So every day we've been um, moving through the body, but we want to be able to open up, to have more downloads, to be in more alignment, however you want to choose to frame that which is gathering in and flowing more energy in um, the body and through the body. So today we're going to work on a few practices that help us with that. And we will be continuing to kind of little bits and pieces here and there I'm going to add and build on what we're doing and shift up what we're doing. Yes, we're predominantly going to be doing the Qigong as well and the energy routines that we're doing for this year of Qigong. But I'm adding in, um, as I'm being told, <laughs> so that we can bring more current in, how we can feel more aligned on a physical level with our bodies. So, um, and then as I'm working with, working with the bone structure and the teeth, which I'm told is a sign of like, when you try to take in too much frequency and the physical body is not yet ready, that's a sign that things can show up. You might get aches and pains, you might get um, headaches. I mean, it comes up in, in different, different ways. So let's get moving. Let's get the body going so that we can help. So let's just sit this up. So let's start with a nice wiggy pose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So we're utilizing what I call easy breath. Bringing in lots of visualization today along with connecting the... Ooh. Now we're going to work with the energy of our Braharahman. So we're going to connect with the pineal gland along with the sacrum. So basically you can flow this energy through you to be in a higher state of consciousness. So we're not in the um, reptilian part of the brain for wants and needs. It's a higher consciousness and a higher level of consciousness through the body and that will allow this being of you, your physical being, to connect within, to that voice within, to allow the body to flow energy fields through it in a better feeling way, and to come together with other people in a way that helps others, so it's for the good of all of humanity, not um, just for for us, it sends ripples everywhere. So, into a widgy pose, closing the eyelids down, bringing the hands down to ground in this high frequency that we're working with. Close the eyes and visualizing. So, whatever thought forms are coming up, whatever things you're thinking is what I mean by thought forms. Let them go and just focus on the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Just stay and be present and still and be aware and take a, a mental note of whatever you're feeling. So whether your energy is um, in your mind and you're very thoughtful, maybe you're um, in a very physical, the opposite, so you need to bring that energy up to here if that's you, or maybe you're in the heart, you're very emotional. We want all of these to be in balance with one another, not just one area that energy focused. So bringing that attention to first starting with the mind as we're using our will. Visualize light behind the forehead. And I want you to visualize a little mini you, a little 
visualization of a tiny, tiny, tiny you, or you can visualize a little ball of light as your consciousness just behind the forehead by your third eye. Keep that breath flowing in through the nose and out through the nose, in through the nose and out through the nose. And our awareness goes to the forehead. Now, as you breathe, I think we've done this many times, you see that silvery light, like a metallic -y kind of mercury color, liquid light. See it melting down, pouring through you, down through the body. And coming from into the top of the head as it's pouring through visualize it coming from highest to highest so i'm talking about we're going to go up through our fields all through any fields any distortions any thought forms any like thinking negatively however you want to um, vocalize that allow your consciousness to connect with the other half of you that is connected so we are humongous beings when we're in our multi-dimensional self. We're connecting to the highest aspect of the self, right up, and you might call it creation. This is the central primal sound and light fields. Connecting, feeling that connection that's there when we allow ourselves to connect. When we feel joy, when we feel love, that's where it comes from. Feeling it flowing through us with each breath in, each breath out, in and out and flowing through you. That column of light that's around you that we've been working with daily is there, connect to it, expand it out with your breath as you breathe in. It's a bubble, it's a filter. So even though others may like come up, it just it bounces off it goes around you that filters out that which is no longer in resonance with you allow that light that's charging it that's powering it coming through down anchoring rounded and flowing up and today we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to connect with a red light we're going to access the book of our own memory, people call it Akashic. We're going to visualise that little person that's holding and pouring all beautiful silver light, our awareness behind the, the field here. First I want you to put your fingers into what we call crown pull and as if you're opening a doorway through your mind, gently fingertips round and shake. Open, and you can do this with your eyes open, but unless you find it hard to hold that visual whilst they're open, then keep them closed and do it by touch. Fingertips meet together in the middle of the forehead and they pull apart, teasing as if you're opening and shake that down. Then we take our hands, we take them to the lower dentien, we make a little triangle. They go up and around and they come to the lower back, right at the bottom of your spine, the bit where we're meant to have towels, that little point there, I want you to put your fingers together as if they're there. You're connecting to the other part that's connecting to your bubble point. So we have all the meridians that run through our body, then we have the vector lines that run underneath them, like a deeper level of energy fields that are connected to the core fields around us. So when we connect to this field, I want you to imagine there's a link between where your fingers are here and roots coming down, rounding down and going into the crystal caves of Pop Gaia. Crystalline roots, they're going down, they're anchoring, they're grounding, they're building. And remember, you think about a tree, and you know that its root system is bigger, just as above, as because it is above, it's the same underneath. Same thing. And the same with the pituitary gland here. 
and take your fingers up and start to massage right at the top of the head. You're going to allow, this is where that silver energy is pouring in, pouring into all of the cells, gently softening the hard, calcified, and lots of people they say it's shrunk, they don't use it anymore, if you don't meditate, it expands when you meditate, so think about that calcified, softening it, breaking up any hardness, allowing the flow, the energy, visualizing it, pulsing with it, do it as you're ready, and the more you repeat this, the more you do it, and as we move through it, the more that expands, the more that you allow, it'll expand and open like a womb, stretch to birth to allow that higher frequency to come through. If you did it too fast, it would snap, it would, your brain, and that's where you get people that have Kudalini awakenings and they go off their rocker and they can't quite, um, like they're, they're like, got the multi-dimensional aspects, but it's not quite, it's all over the show. It's, it's like a, a broken radio station, if, if you like. It just needed to have, it becomes fractalized. We want that to happen gently, and that's happening gently. These waves of energy as they hit, like the eclipse, is a portal, a doorway, and an ending of the way we energetically was before. Now we're in this beginning and it's open. So wide open to connect. So feeling that pulsing around the brain, it growing, and then feel it connecting, grounding, anchoring in this root system with the crystalline caves. And I, the reason I say crystals, because the crystal caves and the crystal plate that's below your feet, your earth star chakra, that can hold that information. It has that information. You can access it then when your body, when you are up to speed, when you're aligned enough to read that frequency. But it's there, it's open already. But feel into it, feel like you're growing the brainwave pathways, the little roads, and now visualize that little person. They're walking towards the temple, and there's this beautiful, beautiful blue, deep azure blue. As they walk on this path that's like a sapphire blue, these are the lines, the blue dragon lines. You might feel them here in the pool that we have access, they're open already as well. So we don't even need to go and access and find it. It's there when we want it to. So we walk the steps up. This is just you going to get your crystal keys to access who you are. And there's this box and it's a beautiful gold and silver box. And you put the hands into the box as you open this ray of rainbow light floods up through your feet. So the crystal caves, the roots that we're attached to, that lovely, beautiful rainbow colour comes up the legs, up through the body. Just like when you see the prism of a crystalline as the light frees it, these are coming up through the light and sound fields of the earth. They're rising up, they're bringing with them this beautiful energy coming from those of you that are aware of Tara. So we have that access for the doors, so accessing that aspect aspect of our soul that's linked through there, through our beginnings, bringing that energy field up, that energy, what's the word, like the pulse, as it comes up through the body, you might feel a tingling coming up your spine, if you don't, don't worry, because remember hands, if you have them here, feeling it rise, through you and it might be that there's so much rainbow light that it feels white light because it's expanded so much but it's liquid plasmic light it's the light that's pre-creation flooding up through the cells and down flow up and down and now I want you to, whilst that's happening, whilst you've got that visual, we're gonna move into movement, bringing the arms up into cleansing breath. 
and exhale this time exhale through the mouth anything you need to let go of so it's pushing aside you don't even think oh I've got to let go of that because it's just gonna move it out the way if it's not meant to be there it's going releasing and you can make the heart sound the sound for the heart is <sighs> so <sighs> those of you that have um, had your love language coming through your light language sounds might start to flow if they do allow them to do so working on the sound of primal fields that's what they've been doing as you've expressed them feeling like you're having a shower full of rainbow light sparkling all around you yeah and that's going to continue that flow with our breath as we start to move hands come up and down this time come forward we push the fields around start to test your filter as it expands for where it needs to bringing around the back coming down connecting bending forward feel the stretch in the back as those roots are stretching not snapping they're stretching they're like elastic liquid light and up, flow with the energy, palms up now as you lift up over the head, link the head and we're going to move into a routine whilst we've got this going on. So breathing in and stretch to the side as we stretch out, feel into the energy. Breathe in as you're up, breathe exhaling over. If you feel any muscle tension and your awareness goes, like for example, when I'm doing my arms, I can feel the muscles, feel the flow of that energy flowing through it. And as we bring our hands down, we're going to do the message. We go down the lines. These are the vector lines that are like five of the meridians. They come down, up and down lines, um, earth to stars, galactic energy, round and through through the legs, through touch, shake down the backs. So not just the meridian lines, we're going deeper, we're going into the vector lines of massage through the body and anywhere in particular. So say you have a pain, spend a little bit more time there because that energy that's flowing in, that's been coming in with this eclipse along the back of it, it's, that's, if you feel any tension in your body from it, it's where it, it's stuck, it's, it's can't, there's a, a disharmony there so you can clear it through to allow that to flow into the cellular memory of the body and again from the side any stuck energy that will gather here because this is the seat of consciousness and lower dentien and for those of this of you that have been doing this with for a while your crystal that you have in your gut that should be lighting up with rainbow lit. It'll help you focus. Um, you can go back over previous videos for this, but it'll help you with the focusing of that energy, feeling it in the gut, coming to the gut. And I also want you to think of the physical level of the bacteria in our mouth, the bacteria in our gut, the bacteria even in the vagina or in um, the, would be for a man, the, prostate so all of this has a link it's all linked we're going to focus on the gut bounce and tap so we're waking up the microbiome in the gut totally which should stimulate the saliva in the mouth 
which if you haven't got an acidic body, so if you've got a good diet and you've got a, quite an alkaline diet, that will allow then the alkaline to work on the teeth to get rid of any bacteria that could cause tooth decay. Everything's linked. The more I'm asking, the more I'm like, look, the more that's coming back, everything. Synchronicities are amazing. Come round the back again. We want to help because if you're working like me to, to get rid of the toxicity in the body, any toxic emotions that might be for some people, or toxic thoughts. On the physical, it comes out through the kidneys. Gently come down, flow that into the ground to be alchemized, come around. So in Qigong, we call this the Wei Qi, coming up to the shoulders, any tension. And then we want to come down the arms, turn up and down. So photo regenerating cells on the physical level, but on the energetical level, we're going deeper. We're shaking those lines of the vector lines, the meridian lines, as the sparks flow through. Coming across and doing the other side. Keep going, keep visualizing into that crystal in the belly to help with this and the crystal if you can think of it as a crystal as a light that connection at the bugwood point and the back with a circuit going up and down figure of eight just like we did with the master keys and then when you feel you've done it enough as I said we can the shigong normally we do it nine times off side shake but you might need more on one side at the moment. And call in your soul. Like a car, but with a cat in. to shake any or excess energy then go into the shaking for the nervous system if it's feeling uncomfortable if you're feeling like whoa that's a little bit too much I'm getting a bit heady then shake shake because the nervous system is where it's flowing through this should help gently awaken so your nervous system can open up and you contain more so coming back to center breathing I want you to move into some of our mouth shigong. So whilst you're breathing, we're gonna, with the teeth, we're gonna work on the, as we take in food, as we take in the, um, the new concepts, the new ways of thinking that are gonna be coming and flowing to you and new ways of doing things. I want you to alchemize this through your body so that you can get rid of the old thought forms. It would just be pushed aside anyway, but this will help on the, that level. So tapping with the teeth. We start this side, that side, that side. We go nine times, nine times, nine times, and then we circulate the tongue from the back of the teeth on the inside of the teeth, round, going down on the inside of the teeth at the bottom, up, and that's one rotation. We do it three times one way and three times the other way. I'm telling you before because I won't be able to say so whilst I'm um, doing it. Namaste to you too. So. Tongue. Try not to swallow either. I went extra times, I told you three, didn't I? I went six. And then you can swallow. So 
obviously that's if you're working on remineralization and I'm told the teeth and the bones is when the high frequency comes in can be where you notice it because it's going to draw that out when the body's not in its perfect balance and alignment which marries up with what's happening at the moment when with knowing about our diet and all other stuff so that's quite helpful to do and to know so just taking the tongue putting it behind the teeth to link up this meridian bring your feet together into bamboo place your hands over your lower dentien and just breathing in and out and I want you to focus and those of you that haven't got a crystal here I want you to visualize focus light just starting just behind the belly button a light that sort of gathers and gathers and gathers and condenses and condenses and condenses obviously not that quickly but over time every time you do it it becomes a crystal and around that area it's placed so what you can do is you can visualize with me now if you haven't been doing that the little mini you that's by that box that we spoke about, the silver gold box, where the rainbow was coming through, picking up a crystal and placing it in its mouth. And at the same time, do the same as if you're placing in your mouth a crystal connected to the crystalline highest aspect of you, placing it in the mouth and swallowing it. And it goes down easy, it flows and it goes down to the seat of the soul here. It's your connection. I remember I said we were going to gather the book. We're going to gather another crystal. It's like a ruby, beautiful ruby red connecting with our root. But we're going to bring that root ruby red that's just appearing in our hands, the little mini me. I feel as though the big you, the you, is holding it too bring that up to the heart so we're bringing that kundalini up to the heart so it's heart focused the jin energy as we spoke about or kundalini energy in yoga um, the sa sa uh, sacred divine sexuality that energy that creation energy bringing it up that red to the heart and state that you wish to know your path, your journey, your book that's in the highest good of all, allowing you to access it. Now, you can hold it there and just say, I'm going to take an, like a, a Xerox copy, a, a copy of what you need to know now, what you're ready to know, or you can keep it there. It's entirely up to you. You can access it when you want, or you can put it back in the little mini you, put it back in the box and go and access it from this beautiful temple path, blue temple path, where you can go to anytime you want to. But feeling whatever copy, or if it's a whole thing, bringing it here to the heart to access through love and compassion, that the thoughts, feelings, emotions that you're ready to unlock, you're open to seeing now, the clarity that you need to know is there for you to unlock. Your body is ready to process, to clear, and then bring the hands up to the front because there may be some resistance. There may be resistance to speaking your truth about this. Holding the hands there, feel that love energy coming up and a beautiful azure blue that's allowing you and feel as though there is something like you've got something stuck in the throat and as you do this blue as you hold your hands here it literally dissolves that and you think well where the crystal went it's dissolved it's left it makes me even want to <coughs> so you may want to cough <coughs> it's dissolving it that beautiful blue but instead feel the gold the rainbow, the silver, like a lozenge going over the throat. And hold the hands all the time you feel you need to. And when you don't, you feel like the hands just let them open and expand. 
open and receptive to all the good, the greater part of me is now free to be and demonstrate for my highest good and for the good of all of humanity. You might want to send that out with a little intention if you are a Reiki practitioner or master. There'll be more symbols too to see that as a flow. For anyone viewing, for you, for me, because it, what we give out, we get back tenfold. And then take those hands as if you're holding a great big ball, lifting it up, placing that ball of light behind you. And as you open your hand, it just expands and drops down around you. Your field, your bubble, it's there, it's filter. Is there for you to walk through and back whenever you need to. Surrounding you is this uh, a black avoid. It's that black cat guardian energy, standing guard, for whenever you need to do that work, for whenever you need to walk beyond that which is the known, holding your hands so that you can see the light you can see sparks light up in front of you, whatever colour it is you're following. It's there whenever needed. Your own guides, your own connection to that. And whenever you watch this video, the guardian order of what I see is the black cat, the Alaran soul family from sound and light, primal sound and light sound and light fields. Coming down now into the now moment. Start to just sway from side to side. Movement releasing any further resistance. Feel as though it's dissolved from the throat, it's dissolved from the body. And just give your hands a little shake. And the throw of the toe at the, the ankles. Feel those roots are there, they move with you like a swishing skirt. As you move, so does the Earth Star Chakra, it's anchoring you, it's there constantly. You've just got to think of it with your intention. So take a deep breath in. I didn't actually do that much movement today. I wanted to go gentle, I wanted to make sure that we were ready. So if you do feel any, it should have gone by now, if you do feel any heaviness that you might have felt from the, um, the eclipse from that energy, for me personally, for example, when I was bent, I was like, oh God, I can feel such a difference in the high energy that I was feeling, but also feel the density, the, the, the complete contrast of where my body's at and how I, they need to kind of come back, that balance, come back in to play. So, oh, forest. And we just walk past for me. <laughs> it's like, what's going on over here? The cat just. Anyway, love and blessings for your day. Thank you for joining me. You can repeat this as many times as you need to, but that crystal will all, it'll automatically be there. So you don't need to remember to swallow the crystal. It's there. You can just think of it. Um, or you can go over the practice, whatever works for you. And those of my members that you can, as I said, you've got that crystal there. You just bring those colours in. Bring in. It's like a key to you unlocking that aspect or as a focal point because you already have that. It's just to use as um, as a focus for you to to align with, if you like, with, with like tuning as. A, a tuning button and radio dial so love and blessings may all contrast be wrapped in love and compassion go on a judgment detox if any kind of detox of your thoughts of your feelings of what you're going through allow yourself to go with the flow of what is coming up the changes the endings that might be showing up for you let the tears flow if they need to let those thoughts go where they need to just be the observer of them Make mental notes of them, journal about them. It would at this time be really helpful to do. And getting outside, barefoot, on the grass, 
um, or salt baths, um, really good um, to help with the grounding. But even just closing your eyes, if you can't get upset, say you live in a, a tower block, for example, and you're watching this, say, so I haven't got a garden, I use miles away and I can't physically walk there. That's fine, just close your eyes and visualize the green all around you. That green energy will have the same effect with the heart opening and connecting and grounding you, as well as salt baths. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Blessings in your now moment. Thank you for your practice. Blessings to you. Namaste.